Shoes. Keeping it so motherfucking organic, it's theatrical. Let me feed my people. <laughs> Listen, man, this is three B's, man. Let's keep it organic. Superhero shit, man. Be fly, huh? Get fresh, huh? Keep it real. Keep it organic from the motherfucking seed. They say I'm cocky. They say I'm narcissistic. <laughs> I am. If you're listening to this, you're welcome. Enjoy greatness. Three of them to God, huh? Three of them! Now tune into the motherfucking greatest. Great. First and foremost, let me have a seat, man. Motherfuckers ain't gonna agree. Right there, motherfucker, right there. I hope everything going good. Let me check the whereabouts. All right. All right, first and foremost, tattoo on my forearm. It says fortunate right there. I always felt I was fortunate. More than lucky, more than blessed. A mixture of both. Fortunate on the forearm. So I always felt. Now mind you, this is the bad side, this is the good side. I'm fortunate for all the bad shit I did, I made it through it. I'm fortunate for all the blessings that I received, even though I did a lot of bad. So it's not for me passing on others. So I'm fortunate for that. Boom. On the other side of the form, you got David and Goliath. You see David down there? Big Goliath on this side, man. You know? Self-explanatory. That means anything's possible, man. Small things to a giant. David and Goliath on the phone right there on that side. On this side is my grandma. Fallen angel, Opal. You know what I'm saying? That's my angel right there. She always believed in me. Told me I'm gonna be great. Even though I was a bad kid. She always told my mom I'm somebody special. Now look at the grandma, he was right. So that's her, basically like my guardian angel. That's basically the Saint Michael though, fighting off the devil, fighting off the uh, demons. But I represent that's my grandma right there from my whole other side of my phone. Right here it says ferocious, one of my favorite words, and just my personality when it comes to getting shit done, or somebody you know can go against me. I got a ferocious personality, especially on the other side, good or bad side, mostly bad when I get on my ferocious shit. That's why I got the big tiger. Tiger represents strength, represents power, represents Tenacity, resilience. So we got the big tiger right there. You know what I'm saying? On the back of the arm, I got different. I always felt and knew I was different from most. I always been like this. I always stood out, never blended in. I always was like watching TV with the caption on, man. I always stood out, man. Different on the back of the arm. Inside the arm, Bobby G, you're born great. That's all I always felt. I always feel like you're born great. Everybody's born great. But it's you to pull it outside, outside of your body and let others see it. So you're born great right there. You know what I'm saying? So that's that arm. Shoulder right here. That's that bad shoulder. The devil on this shoulder. It's my bad side. Don't want to get on this side. It'll get real fucked up for you. You see the motherfucking skull with the horns in it. This side, bone. Like the back of a dollar bill. B-O-N-E, that's one of my nicknames. It's from me it's to cross people up, break their bones, it's to call me bone. Plus I was super skinny as a kid. You know, I'm not no more now. I'm pure ferocious, look like a black he-man. You know what I'm saying? But this is to call me bone. And I turned it into an acronym, ball or nothing else. You know, that's my email. Ball or nothing else. You know what I mean? But you know, you put a B in front of the one, it makes bone. So I always told myself I'm gonna make my own money. So bone, be on your knee. At the same time, you call money. I got 10 bones in my pocket. So there's a lot of similar, symbolization in that, a lot of symbolism. You know what I'm saying? I got a big bone right there. And instead of the one, it says bone, where the one would be on the dollar bill. So always make your own money. Ball or nothing else. I'm always have a ball. I'm always going to ball no matter what. Enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Physically, mentally, monetarily. Ball or nothing else. On this side, that's the billionaire before burial. Skull logo. See the three B's on the top. But a skull, money where your mouth is, man. See the money, the, the flag wrapped around your mouth, money signs. Put your money where your mouth is, man. Don't talk about it, be about it. SD San Diego, that's where I'm from. My hometown. Now I got the dragon right here wrapped around my arm. Represents wisdom and protection. You know what I'm saying? I always told myself I'll be very knowledgeable. At the same time, you know, I got a ferocious personality, so hope the dragon protect me from evil, protect me from doing the wrong 
things. So it wraps around my arm in particular. This is my first ever tattoo, the dragon with the bow. You know what I'm saying? That's the beast within coming out when I'm hooping. You know what I mean? Just go crazy and be ferocious, spitting the fire. You know what I'm saying? I got this for two Don Saxony. Got that done when I was 17. You can tell. <laughs> Back in the arm. Tranquility. You know what I'm saying? Tranquility. That's the Shaolin monks, motherfucking engraving of tranquility. Both of me now, you know, motherfuckers don't be no more than them motherfucking Chinese, Japanese, silence me, bitch. But in the book, it said tranquility, bitch, so hopefully it means tranquility. And this is my good side, so you see the skull with the halo over it. You know what I'm saying? The rap's all the way around. Chess, respect some, fear none. You know, that's come for, it's, it's a playoff. Genghis Khan quote for the Mongolians, you know what I'm saying? Respect. Um, fear none, respect some, some shit like that, I forgot, you know what I mean. I put my own take on it, respect some, fear none. I switch it up a little bit, you know, I'm a very big Genghis Khan fan. <sighs> right there, all seeing eye, you know what I mean? I see everything, that's how I feel, I always keep my eyes open and everything. The all seeing eye right there on the eye, on the chest, me peace. See the all seeing eye, see the head, the rosary dripping down, Jesus on my chest, man. You know, you already know what that is, big Jesus right there on my chest. 618. That Southern Illinois, that's Carbondale, small town where I used to live in too. I used to live there a lot. Lived there for like four years, so 618. But the crazy thing is I grew up in San Diego for the most part. I moved back and forth from Illinois. Carbondale was a 618, and San Diego was a 619. That's crazy. They're so far apart, but it's one, one um, area code number different. So I think that was dope civilization. So I got one on one side, one on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the good angel on this side. Of course, on the good side. Got the bad angel right here on this side. You know what I'm saying? You can see and the rosary drop all the way down. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the doves. You know what I'm saying? For this piece, faith first. You know what I'm saying? Faith first across the belly. You know what I'm saying? You got to have guts to have faith. To believe, you got to have guts. So I got faith first across my stomach. You know what I'm saying? On this side, there's the Mona. That's the gargoyle, the evil gargoyle god, goddess. There's the Mona right there. There's Goliath on that side. The good gargoyle, the ferocious dude. Okay, I'm on that side. You know what I'm saying? Um... Moses, you see that right there, big, the Ten Commandments and all that. Got big Moses on that side. I always feel like I'm the person that's gonna lead my people to prosperity. I feel like I'm the person that's gonna lead my family to a legacy. So that's why I got Moses. I like what he represented. He left his, he, he had the whole kingdom. He was the king of Egypt, basically. He left that to save his people. That's a real one, that's me. Let my people go. I feel like I'm the one that's gonna raise my people up. So that's why I got big Moses on my side right there. Then he's counting this side. You know what I'm saying? Then he's counting that side. And I got his uh, punishment of God quote on um, underneath him, you know, and his name and his con. I just feel like he's a conqueror. I just want to be a conqueror. I don't want to kill all the people and all that. I just feel like I know the world is mine, so I need the whole thing. I need everything in it. You know what I'm saying? Look up the punishment of God quote by Genghis Khan. It's also written on my skin. I ain't trying to go through all that, but just know it's, it's lethal. You know what I'm saying? On my back. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, top, leg, leg. You know, like I said, I grew up in Illinois, but I'm also from Lincoln Park. That's the area in Southern California I grew up in. Lincoln Park looked it up. So man, Lincoln that, um, combines both of them. Illinois and Lincoln, and Lincoln the area that I'm from. So man, Lincoln across the top of my back, you see Lincoln there. You know, right on my back, you see a shark. I got the big shark and the, the, the chick swimming. You know, she can swim, that's my, that's my mantra. You're either gonna sink it with the, with the fishes or you're gonna swim with the bitches. You know what I'm saying? It's a sink and swim lifestyle. And I'm gonna always swim. <laughs> I'm gonna always swim and cross where I can never go down to the fishes. And you see the gangs coming. You see the Poseidon on that. You see Poseidon right there. You know, Greek gods are very into Greek mythology. There's three big uh, Greek gods, three brothers basically. It's Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Now you see Poseidon, he, he controls the water. My last name is Rivers. And as you know, the world is basically consumed of 85 to 90 percent water, so we control the water, control the world. And on top of that, Zeus is the king of the gods, how I feel, Zeus is the shit. He controls the sky, you know what I'm saying? So I got Zeus on my back too, you know what I mean? As you can see him right there. Also, on the other side, I got my mom, my mom's little name, Bouvier. It says Bouvier right there. Um, Hades is the spot right there for Hades to go. We got a little spot left for Hades on one side of this motherfucker, but Hades is going on the other side of Zeus. So, I hope that's everything we look. I basically everything on the back, everything on the front, man. You know what I mean? Organic lifestyle, man. That's a tattoo story. Three B's right there on the shoulder meats. You know, not being bought nothing else. You know what I'm saying? On the forearm. But three B's, you see it right there on the chunky meats. You know what I'm saying? Visit before bullshit. 
you know, billionaire before buried, blessed beyond belief. You know what I mean? So that's basically all the tattoos, man. That's my tattoo story. That's a good ab workout, arm workout. Hope everything was clear, Chris, for you. Three Bs, man, organic motherfucking love. You know what I'm saying? You want the merch, hit my email, ball nothing else at, um, ball nothing else at yahoo.com. The organic lifestyle website is coming up soon. We'll be ready for that. Um, Make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Add me on Snapchat, you see them below. Make sure you go down to my description, get my music. Add me on all social medias. Three of them, keep it organic from the seed to root to tree to fruit. Three of them, God, I'm out. Look at the physique, bitch.